Um, um, I saw a, a movie, I think it came out in 1988, but I saw it in the 90s called They Live, you, you've seen that, you? um, and I, I could see that it was accurate at the time in its themes, but since I've come, begun to understand about this moon matrix, absolutely, it is far beyond accurate compared with what I thought it was before. Very quickly, and you can go on YouTube and get it, just put in John Carpenter, you, um, they, they Live, and you, you, you'll get it in, in chunks. John Carpenter is the man who not just directed it and produced it, he really wrote the music, he did everything. And John Carpenter, when you follow his movie-making history, knows a, a great amount of what's going on. He's worked with a massive insider called George Lucas on the Star Wars movies, etc. Uh, that's not happening in the galaxy far, far away. Come on, George, please. Um, it's, it's happening much closer to home. Anyway, this They Live goes like this. Um, it's set in America sometime in the future. The future from when it came out in 1988 is about now. There's a massive economic uh, collapse going on and it's a police it's a police state. The hero, I'll call him the builder, the hero character arrives right at the start of the film. It is, he's walking from city to city, town to town, trying to get work on a build, in the building trade. He manages to get a, a short-term job at the start of the movie and at the end of this first day, a big black guy um, who's on the building site says, you've got anywhere to stay. No, he said, well, uh, come, you, you went into, uh, you know, share what we have. What we have was um, a tent city, tent village, uh, and corrugated iron uh, cobbled together uh, shelters because this economic collapse in America in the movie had people living on wasteland in these, ta in these uh, tent cities and villages all over, all, all over the city. Go to America, it's happening now. Yeah, I've been to Detroit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, it's happening. Yeah. And, and what happened then is um, this builder, who's now in the tent village, he starts to see that some strange things going, going on at a church across the road. And he goes, to, he goes and uh, has a snoop around when, uh, from outside, there's a service going on and there's church music playing. And he goes in, he looks around, and he realizes that actually there's a group of people um, from the village are, are in there and the service is a tape, it's playing a tape, it's just a fake. And someone had rigged up a television um, in, this, in this wasteland village. And the main, ch main American mainstream channel kept being broken into by this man's face saying, they're here, what's this effect? They're here, they're controlling us, etc. And then it would cut back to the program. Anyway, that, that, that night there's a police state raid on this village and they bring in the bulldozers and they raise it and everything, everyone's scattered. Guy comes back next day, the builder, um, when it's all settled down. He goes in the church snooping around again and he finds these cardboard boxes he grabs one he runs into the alleyway down the back because he's frightened of anyone seeing him and he opens it up and inside it's just sunglasses loads of sunglasses in this box which I mean he's bewildered he's disappointed sunglasses what's all this about so he takes one puts it in his pocket throws the rest away and then walks into the main street of this city and everything looks normal there's advertisements people uh, cars things going on and he just puts the glasses on now the world is shockingly different. Through these glasses, all the drink Coca-Cola and uh, vacation in Jamaica, now all he can see is, is words like stay asleep, obey authority, don't question, all these subliminals. He then goes to a newsstand and he picks up the equivalent of, of Time and, 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 and Newsweek and when he looks with his naked eye, it's texts and colors and graphics and pictures just like now. Puts the glasses on all he can see are these subliminals, obey authority, stay asleep, don't question. He looks at a dollar bill, and instead of seeing a dollar bill and all that's on it, all he sees is, sees is words, this is your God. Next thing that happens, a guy walks in to buy a paper. To the naked eye, he's a human. He puts the glasses on, this guy ain't human. And it goes on, and he starts to realize, nothing like the majority, but a significant number of people, um, are not human, but they appear human to the naked eye. 